Hey kids, what's up? <sighs> Eagles Redskins post game. Let's talk about it. Um, it was bad. Let's get that out of the way first. It was bad. Started off good and then turned bad. Um, everybody's wanting to blame the game on Wentz, which to a certain extent, eh, I suppose I get it a little bit. Um, he uh, he did not play well uh, after the first quarter. Um, I might go so far as to say it was one of the poorest games I think I've seen him play since his rookie year. Um, but <clears throat> I, I'm one of the people that, uh, that gets accused of making excuses for once, and I suppose I do. Um, but I, I, there's three reasons for that. A, because I think there's excuses to be made, um, which I'll get to in a second. Um, B, because nah, I just really like the guy. And C, because I think a lot of people in the fan base are too quick to uh, knock him down for things and blame him for things. Uh, I almost feel like the counterbalance to that. Um, <clears throat> so, going into the game, I, I, figured, um, I figured offensive line was going to be an issue. Obviously, no Wayne Johnson, no Brandon Brooks, but the Brandon Brooks thing is something we're going to have to deal with for the rest of the season. Um, but no Lane Johnson was a big one, no, no blindside. So, Driscoll comes in, brand new. Um, I believe he's a rookie. Uh, check me on that one, though. And you've got Nate Herbig at right guard, who is second year. And they didn't look, they looked really, really bad coming off of the start of the game. Now, don't get me wrong, the left side of the line gave up decent pressures as well. But Jason Peters is not what he used to be. And Siamalo is decent. I'll, I'll give him decent. But he's not a great guard. Um, <clears throat> and I thought maybe midway in. I thought Driscoll looked like he was maybe starting to adjust a little bit. He looked like he was getting off a little better. Um, he just he looked like he was kind of settling, uh, and then he got hurt. Um, and I was like, okay, this, god damn it, right? Uh, so in comes Jordan Malata, and he actually played, he played pretty well. Um, I I. I think I read, I, I know he didn't give up any sacks. I think he might have given up a pressure or two. But my biggest problem with Driscoll being hurt now is, Jesus, how many healthy offensive linemen do we have on the roster? Because, um, wow. The, the, the other thing, so I, I, knew, I knew our offensive line was going to be a problem going into the game. I, I didn't think it would be that bad. I, I really didn't think it was going to be that pitiful. Um. The other thing I think that I wasn't quite ready for was how good Washington's defense was going to be. I, I knew they had some guys. Uh, Kerrigan's a stud. Um, I, I've always I've always liked Ionitis, um, and I wasn't sure I wasn't sure where Chase Young was going to be. But I mean, he was the number two overall pick, and obviously he looked great. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I wasn't ready for it, and I don't think it didn't look like Philly was ready for it either. They after that first quarter they adjusted and they adjusted well, um, and even I mean the secondary played I thought a really good game, personally. Um, so I, I think that was I mean that was where we lost the game. Obviously was in the trenches. Um, Wentz got sacked eight times. Was under pressure. Was running for his life all day long. Uh, and there was no running game whatsoever. Um, I think Scott's longest run was like eight yards, and then Scott was in and out of the lineup with injury all game long. No Miles Sanders, obviously. Um, and Clement just... <sighs> Clement hasn't been good since 2017, so I wasn't counting on much there. Um, <clears throat> so it's one of those things. Did Wentz play a bad game? Yeah, he kind of did. But 
He was under pressure all day long, got sacked eight times, got hit twice that many times, and had no running game, and had a coach that, that uh, Peterson wasn't helping him out at all. I, he just, Wentz kept getting sacked, and it just seemed like Peterson wasn't willing to make adjustments. So this is one of those games where I look at Wentz, and I'm like, you know what? What, what, do, you, what do you do with that? What do, you, what do you expect him to do with that? Now, there were a couple times that he, a couple individual plays here and there where I thought, okay, you should have done this or you should have done that. The one play where he took the sack, I think it was Young, just bear hugged him and shot. And I, and I remember thinking, all right, because he had dodged, I think, Kerrigan coming off the edge and stepped right up. And the the other guy, I think it was Young, was right there. And I was like, all right, you dodged the sack from Kerrigan. You got to know your line's breaking down. Throw the ball away. Just, just get rid of the ball. Rather than taking, that was the sack that ended up making the field goal, I think, like 53 yards, and, and Jake ended up missing it. Um, <clears throat> the And, and the, the other excuse I'll make for once is his, his receivers weren't helping him either. His coach wasn't helping him, his line wasn't helping him, the run game sure as hell wasn't helping him, and his receivers weren't helping him. I think Hightower had, like, two or three drops, and... The, the both picks that went through, I remember thinking, all right, they weren't. It wasn't the best decision to throw into those windows. I'll give you that. But God, those receivers got to step up and help a little bit. They got to try and come back to the ball, and if they can't get it, they got to at least try and play defense on their own to make sure the corners don't get it. And the, they just they just weren't doing that for him. Um. And God, that fourth down drop by Ertz uh, it still hurts. It still it still causes me physical pain. Um, am I saying we would have gone down and won the game or tied the game? Probably not. But God, I've seen Ertz make that catch in his sleep a hundred times, and that's and that's the one he drops. Um, yeah. I think that's kind of what I've got. Uh, the the fifty five yard bomb to Jalen Rager was awesome. That was great to see it. Um, I'm I'm hoping to be able to see it a little bit more uh, as the season goes along. Hopefully, and I, that was like the best offensive play of the day. Um, and after that, just kind of dropped off. I felt like, um, but that was I mean that was good. Um, the in, the injuries, the injuries, again, man, we're in the first week. We're in the first week, and what did we have, like six people leave the game? A couple of them came back, a couple of them didn't. Driscoll, I don't know what, I don't know what's up with him. Boston Scott, I don't know. I imagine whatever he's got isn't bad, because he came back and played. Driscoll's concerning, because like I said, I don't know how many, I don't know how many linemen we have healthy right now. Um, <clears throat> Brandon Graham went out with an injury. I, uh, Vinny Curry, I think I read, is supposed to miss three, four weeks. I, it's the first week of the season. Man, I just, I don't. And this is, and I kind of get it this year because shortened camp and they might have not had a, as much prep time or as much conditioning or this and that. So I guess I get it, but just the fact that this is like the third year in a row of this shit kind of bothers me. Um, trying to think. Uh, the one thing, if if there is if there is a bright spot, and I think there is a bright spot here, um, Philly's defense played, I thought really well, um, particularly the secondary. Did you ever think you'd hear yourself say that? Um, I I still I think Mills is going to be a good switch to safety. I I think that's going to be a good move. Um. Rodney McLeod had a fantastic game. Um, Slay only gave up, what, 61, I think? 61 yards all game, which isn't bad, considering what Terry McLaurin did to us last year. Um, yeah, I 
the, the defense played well, and I think, if, I mean, if there's anything to hang your hat on from this game, it's that. Um, and the, def the defense, I thought, did play well. We just, they got screwed a couple times because we gave Washington good field position. Um, Cam Johnson played well? Uh, he usually does, though, don't get me wrong. He, he's got he's got a leg, that guy does. He can punt a football. Um, I, prop, props to Washington, man. I, that, de that defense is, is solid. Don't get me wrong. I mean, our offense is, our offensive line was destroyed, and our offense didn't play great, but Washington's defense looks like it could be legit. Um, so, hey, props to them, and props to, hey, props to Coach Rivera. I said it when they signed him. That was, Rivera was a great, great, great signing for them. Um, <clears throat> on to the Rams, I suppose. Uh, I'll talk about the Rams at some point later this week, probably Friday. I'm trying to think if there's anything major else that, I haven't watched highlights yet. Uh, I, I haven't had time. Um, I worked all day today, all day yesterday, and I watched football all night, Sunday and all night last night. Um, <clears throat> I, it's, it's one of those things I used to, when I used to make these Tuesday preview videos, I used to do Tuesday evenings and I was usually caught up on the, or not previews, recaps. I was usually caught up on highlights because usually between Monday afternoon after classes and Tuesday after classes, I usually had enough time to catch up on the highlights, but <clears throat> working, being at work eight and a half hours a day, I don't have, I just, I don't have time to catch up on, you know, an hour and a half's worth of highlights yet, so, um, I'll, I'll get to it throughout the week, because that's something I really need to try and keep up with this year, um, <clears throat> but I haven't seen them yet, so I just know, like, generic scores, um, I had a bad week, actually picking, um, we'll talk about that tomorrow, but I missed a lot of games this week, the, the Packers, man, <sighs> the Packers came out looking to destroy some people, that was insane, um, Seahawks, man, I swear to God, if Russell Wilson doesn't win MVP, I swear if he keeps playing like that, mm, what he throw, what was it, 342 and four touchdowns, no picks? Nuts. Um, the, pa the Packers were insane. Aaron Rodgers is insane. That's not exactly new. Uh, I was proud of my Cardinals pick. I, I was proud of my Cardinals pick. Uh, I'm actually in the middle of watching those highlights. Uh, I heard Jarek McKinnon had a touchdown. Good for him. I'm glad to see him back and healthy finally. Um, Titans won. I was glad to see that, just if nothing else, for Tannehill's sake. The the, the, the Patriots did win, but they... I, again, I haven't seen the highlights, but it was kind of low scoring considering they were playing Miami. I'm curious to see how New England does further down the line. I'm curious to see how Cam adjusts. Um, <clears throat> no passing touchdowns. Mediocre day passing, but he's a dual threat. It's what he does, so that's fine. Um, uh, I really haven't seen any of the other highlight games, so I don't know anything that happened. Um, <clears throat> Nelson Aguilar. The Raiders won. Proud of that pick, too. Nelson Aguilar, man. That catch. Whew. Dumb wrong. Carr threw an absolute dime there, but... That catch was magnificent. I don't think he ever made a catch that good in Philadelphia. He probably did, but that's besides the point. Uh, the Raiders won. Pittsburgh's defense, I was watching that game last night. Boom. Their defense is so good. Oh, my Lord, their defense is so good. It's disgusting. Um, <clears throat> don't get me wrong. Giants offensive line, again, not great, but... Jesus, their defense looks scary. If, if Ben can just not screw up, I'm thinking I might change my 8-8 eight eight prediction for them. I, I think they could be really good if that defense keeps up and Ben doesn't screw anything up. Um, I'm, trying to, there's, I'm trying to think. There's nothing else. Uh, Jacksonville won. Did not call that game. Um, again, I haven't seen the highlights, but I'm guessing Minshew must have been good. <clears throat> um, that's kind of all I... I mean, that's all I can think of. <clears throat> I'll touch on, I guess, anything else 
tomorrow. Hopefully I'll see a little more highlights at some point. Probably not, though. <clears throat> <clears throat> My bad. Um, yeah, I, I, think, I think that's all I've got. Um, so I'll see you back here tomorrow afternoon slash evening-ish for weekly picks uh, with Tim and Tyler again. We'll, uh, I'll try and go through at some point and tally up our games and see how we all did. <clears throat> and um, see if we can't fix those audio issues, hopefully. Fingers crossed because it was miserable. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Adios.